Hey guys, this is Mrs. Hoffman coming to you from my backyard. I'm sorry we can't meet in person. I really miss seeing you, but I prepared some lessons for you for this week so you can turn into my YouTube channel and watch them for your grade. I want to share something with you really quick though before I go. So in Colossians 3.12, it says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. We all need patience with everything going on in the world right now. So I hope these lessons are inspiring to you. I hope it will give you a chance to be creative. And I look forward to seeing you tune in to my class. See you soon. Bye. Hey, kindergartners. Let's get started for today's lesson. Okay, you're going to watch a movie called Today is Monday by Eric Carle. I want to show you his book for just a second. You know how we studied texture and made texture creatures in elementary art out of clay? Well, we're going to do that today, but on paper and with some supplies you have at home. In the book Today is Monday, he shows a lot of different animals and creatures, an amphibian here in his book. There's an elephant, and here's a cat, and he makes them all with painted texture paper. Okay, so we're going to watch this movie, then I'm going to have you gather some supplies, and we'll get started. See you in just a minute. Today is Monday, today is Monday. Monday string beans, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday. Tuesday spaghetti, Monday string beans, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday. Wednesday zoop. Tuesday spaghetti, Monday string beans, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday. Thursday roast beef, Wednesday zoop. Tuesday spaghetti, Monday string beans, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. Today is Friday, today is Friday. Friday fresh fish, Thursday roast beef, Wednesday zoop, Tuesday spaghetti, Monday string beans, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. Today is Saturday, today is Saturday. Saturday chicken, Friday fresh fish, Thursday roast beef, Wednesday zoop, Tuesday spaghetti, Monday string beans, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. Today is Sunday, today is Sunday, Sunday ice cream, Saturday chicken, Friday fresh fish, Thursday roast beef, Wednesday zoop, Tuesday spaghetti, Monday string beans, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. All you hungry children, come and eat it up. Okay, so you should have gathered your supplies, some white paper, marker, pencil, glue stick, and some construction paper. So to get started, I've already drawn a snake. It's a little hard to see, but I drew him out with pencil. So you're gonna make curvy lines like you have learned and that we did in our line book that we made at school. So one thing you wanna remember is when you're drawing a snake, you wanna make sure that the lines, some of them will be over the other lines because it looks like the snake is on top of other parts of his body, sort of like overlapping when you cover your hands. So, after you make your curvy line snake, I tried to make mine look just like the one in the book and kind of have a happy face. So what I've shown you here is then I took my marker and I went over and traced all of my lines on my snake. So I'm going to trace some lines with you and you're going to trace your snake.
I'm going to trace him really quickly for time. You can always pause the video and take your time and come back. He's starting to really take shape. I'm going to finish his head and finish this part of his body real quickly. Okay, now we've drawn our snake. Yeah, there he goes. So now you want to take your construction paper and you notice here he's in some water. So I want you to take some construction paper and you're just going to tear it just like this. And you're going to take your glue stick and you're going to glue pieces of the paper overlapping, remember where it covers each other, on top of each other just slightly and that's going to create your water. So the part where the body is, I've actually taken dark green, I'll show you, with some light green and some orange and I started overlapping the body with construction paper and I'll put some orange in here. Okay, so now I'm starting to create this textured paper body. So I want you to do all of that. And when you finish doing that, you can come back and you can decide to color the mouth in with red and his tongue, which I'll show you in just a minute. You can pick a colored pencil for his eyes. You notice in my book he has blue eyes. So I'm going to show you in just a minute my finished snake. So number one, the first thing you want to do is draw a curvy line snake in pencil. Then you want to take your Sharpie or black marker and you want to trace the, the lines of your snake and make him so he stands out. Then number three, you want to tear paper and glue it down with your glue stick onto your paper. You notice here how there's water below and then different colored variations of paper or texture colored um, on his body, okay? And the last thing you can do is number, number four, is you could color in his mouth with pink or red and then make colored eyes. So let me show you what my snake looks like finished. I'm so excited to show you. Okay, look at my snake. What do you think? So he's got orange and light green and dark green. He's got a blue textured water. He's got red in the mouth and blue eyes. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed your lesson today. And if you would, please send me an email and show me your snake so I can see how it turned out. My email I'll put on the screen at the end of this video. All right, have a great week. And remember, be creative.